Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a true chilly Canadian round of golf. I'm in Fort Erie, Ontario at Bridgewater Golf Club playing a practice round for my first event. It's gonna be on May 3rd. Let's go play a little bit of golf. Scout out the course, enjoy the solo time on Stanley Thompson Design Golf Course. And Stanley Thompson, my favorite designer ever. Haven't played here before, heard great things. Stanley Thompson, love Stanley Thompson Design Golf Courses. Get up to this first tee, 423 yards. Looks pretty straight away, but thankfully on a true reconnaissance mission, you look at a GPS, you see what is out there and oh, there's a creek, 268 to the creek. So I know definitely can't hit it further than that. Thinking let's just be safe with the two iron right now. I hit this thing well, a little bit of wind into off the left. So this thing rides up there a little bit. So when I get down there, it didn't get to this ridge that the camera is placed on top of. So I just tossed the ball down to where I think it would have gone or if I'd hit three wood in those conditions. So basically that's the point of a practice round. You want to play the course where you ideally think you'll play the course when you're playing the tournament, not keeping score. I couldn't care less about score. So throwing the ball 30 yards ahead isn't the end of the world. So I've got uh, 171 here. Just want to make a good swing with my seven iron and I'm really happy with the swing. Hit the green. I know to stay below the hole on all Stanley Thompson golf courses. So that's kind of what I did. And when I got up here, yeah, it's absolutely what I needed to do. Hit a putt to get a feel for the greens all the way back to that hole, come up well short and it broke quite a bit. But when I'm playing a practice run, I'm not really paying attention to the hole that is there. I'm paying attention to potential holes that I think I could have. So I'm gonna hit putts from the front of the green down to the front edge. I'm gonna hit them pin high. I'm gonna hit them to the middle of the green. Then I'm gonna walk up and hit it from the back of the green down. Like I'm just gonna hit as many putts as I can to potential hole locations. Obviously this one's a little bit different because we're playing one round here. So uh, it's not like I need to hit a lot of putts. I just wanna get an idea for how this green moves back to front and a little bit from right to left. The second hole here is shorty. And uh, when you look at the map, it looks like you can get pretty close to this green if it was the right wind helping off the right. Obviously on a cold day like today, a little into off the right. I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about just making a good golf swing. So I look here, zap a few things and realize, okay, just hit this thing over the bunker. Should be fine. Hit a good one here. It's over the bunker. Then when I get up here, I realize, okay, it's a little more narrow than I would have thought. Into the wind, I had no room left. If it was downwind, I had all kinds of room left. A little bit of trouble isn't even in play. 89 yards here. Catch this one a little on the heavy side turns out awesome gets a good bounce and it's like a couple feet from the hole so practice round just throw another ball down i just want to make a good swing i'm by myself there's no one around so i just want to make a better tighter swing and this one i'm thinking just to the middle of the green i'm not really worried about the flag make a really good swing here strike it better didn't get stuck on the upslope get up to the green cool tap and birdie whatever go hit some putts from the uh the second ball and i just observed this green very very flat yeah you still want to be slightly below the hole just to have a a more aggressive look at a putt but this green is very very flat and it's a hole that you can hit a good drive have a little wedge in or if the wind's really tricky you can play this hole differently but i would take driver here try to get as close to the green as i can and just hit a wedge up close and hopefully try to get a quick birdie third hole par five 521 yards so coming from a short birdie opportunity to yet another one cold into the wind there's no getting home today but it is a very generous wide open hole no real anything to focus on here other than just making a good golf swing make a good one here jump on it a hair it's pretty normal when it's cold and windy hit it up the left side but that bunker was never in play so we get up here not where i want to be 270 yards got a bit of tree trouble so i can't take three wood and just try to hit this thing up as close to the green as i can got to take two iron and hit a little low hooky thing here and this was a thing of beauty a little punch stinger draw awesome shot awesome recovery so now i get up here and i've got 79 yards to a pin that is just on top of a little tier so i think hey this is a great opportunity to take a 52 degree wedge and get a little cute with it and let's see if i can hit a little bump and run with this club the first day it's in my bag execute a good shot here just didn't hit it hard enough took too much off of it just like the last hole i'm gonna throw down another wedge but now i'm going with lob wedge and seeing if i just hit a solid three-quarter lob wedge up in the wind how will the wind affect it it didn't it was a great shot landed right beside the hole so we get up to the green yeah this one's close cool the first shot this is actually great it's a good opportunity to get another feel for the greens putting up the hill into the wind hit this one not hard enough good little test here on a six seven footer bogey but again not really too concerned with score par fives are a great opportunity to toss balls down around the green because if you do go for the par five and two and don't hit it you can simulate shots that you will potentially get but you're also getting a feel for the rough the fairway how the greens react to chips and pitches so par fives are a great opportunity in practice rounds to get a feel for how the short game will react out on the golf course 
hit from bunkers. Just all the, just let your creative juices flow here. And that's basically what I'm doing. And I'm imagining if it's a front pin, this is where I would want to miss front right or front left. And just getting a feel for chipping to the back tier to the front. But that's it. I think you got a great idea of how I go about my practice rounds. Don't want to do this for nine holes. I think it'd bore you to death because it'd be the same thing over and over again. So let's go play these last six holes. Let's say I am one over, bogey, birdie, bogey. Let's see how I can uh, do just battling back and just trying to play some golf while still scouting out the golf course, but also trying to just play some golf, quote unquote, put a score up. So I'll see you after nine. Pretty scrappy, one under par on that front side, fighting the driver a lot. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and go play the back nine in focus mode, clearing the head, standing over it. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm thinking golf swing over the driver and you can see it's getting bad, but the iron play, I'm pretty free and, and, and loose and hitting good shots and the chipping and putting, I'm getting a feel for these greens finally. But I hope you enjoyed that. I hope those first three holes were helpful and then you get an idea of what to do for your practice rounds, a little inside my head. And then those last six were a little more fun to watch me scrape it around. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're not subscribed and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.